Hey guys, this is my third video here. Uh, this time I'll basically tell you how to flash a new custom ROM to stock Motorola DeFi. The basic requisites for uh, this procedure is uh, having a DeFi rooted and uh, secondly having an app called Second Internet installed on DeFi. There are basically two ways to install this app. Uh, one is via market. Second is, uh, I've given the link in the description below. Just click it, download and install. Simple. I'll just get you through the procedure. You can see uh, stock flow, no alteration, nothing, just rooted it. If you don't know how to root, I have a video, just check it. Here it is, stock, nothing. Okay, here's a file manager. Yep. Uh, go to the memory card. Uh, go where you actually have the APK. I have it in uh, here, here, and here. This is it. Just say install. One thing you need to know that while uh, this uh, app installs data, it will also download some before installation. So you need to have a working data connection. I have Wi-Fi here. So you can see. These are two options. Install second unit and uninstall. Press the first one. Again, three options come. Uh, stable uh, uh, latest version and custom uh, URL. Last two not required. Press the first one. Now this is the point where you need the data connection, it will download the data and then it will install. So be patient. I actually have a download uh, going back in the background so it might take a little time. Nevertheless, uh, it will happen. And once the download is finished, installation will uh, initiate. It will ask for root privileges. Yeah, that's why I just said. Just say allow. LED will turn red. Second time it will ask, say allow, and LED will turn green. The moment the LED will turn green, you can be assured that this app is perfectly installed. Plus, you'll get a success. Yep. Success uh, flash here. Now, this app is installed. What now? Well, you just need to reboot your DeFi. You don't have a reboot option, so very simple. Power off. And when it goes off, just switch it on again. Gone. Now we power it on again. Bam. Now when you power it on again, you will go into the custom Android boot menu. The main work of this ROM. LED will turn blue. Here it is the menu. Uh, I don't think you can see it. It's a fixed focus camera. Sorry about that. Okay, I'll just say the options. Uh, first in boot. Second system. Third is recovery. Straight away go to recovery. How do you navigate? Well, volume button up and down and to select, you cut the power button. This is it, recovery, power button. Two options, custom recovery and stock recovery. Again, custom recovery. Now, this is what is actually your gateway to custom ROMs. Very simple. Go to the option called wipe data and factory reset. This is the third option in this one. Navigate and again say yes. Done. Again, the fourth option, wipe cache partition, same, navigate, and again, yes, this is it. Now is the main part. The option called uh, install zip from SD card. Press, you get a new menu, and there the second option will be choose zip from SD card. Again, now you will actually have an access to SD card, navigate where you actually have the ROM stored. Here it is. For this demonstration, I will be flashing VirgQ multi language 2316 zip. The moment you go towards the ROM, just press the power button and say yes. Now the installation will start. Now this is all actually that you have to do. In this ROM, there is an automatic reboot. So you don't need to reboot the phone manually. In uh, some like Cyanogen mod, you need to have to reboot your ROM, uh, sorry, your phone uh, manually. So no big deal. You get it in menu. Uh, just navigate and press the reboot system now. Flashing a ROM basically depends upon what type of ROM it is, uh, but generally speaking, it takes about four to five minutes. And uh, nowadays, we have this Aroma installer, it's a pretty awesome installer. Graphic ways you can actually customize what you want in a ROM, what you don't want in a ROM. I'll do that, but this is just basic one. Yep. 
going on. Installing, second is wiping cache partition, third is flashing the kernel. One thing you need to take care of is the kernel. If you are a gingerbread kernel and flash a ROM having a Froyo kernel, you might get in a boot loop. And if you are on a Froyo kernel and you flash a ROM with a gingerbread kernel, before you flash a gingerbread kernel, if you flash it, then also you get a boot loop. So if you are switching between kernels, also flash the kernel earlier too. Otherwise, the nasty boot loops will occur. There's an M logo. The ROM has been flashed, it's been installed. Now it'll just boot. The first boot, so it can take some time. Be patient. Uh, averaging about 4 or 5 minutes, same. Here it is blue LED, green LED. You should get used to these color of two LEDs uh, while in custom because majority of them have it. Now the waiting period starts. The ROM will boot with the Motorola logo. And a few moments later, you'll see the awesome boot animation of WatchQ. This is it. One of my favorite ROMs. Very fast, very stable, pretty awesome. And if I'm not wrong, this is Droid Razor's wood animation. I like it. I love it. Here it is. Although I keep switching between ROMs, but this is one of my favorites. Um, yeah. And the phone is about to boot. I mean, boot in the home screen. As I said, it takes time, but be patient with the first boot, and it is done. Welcome to the awesome world of custom ROMs. This is Wedge Cube. I'll just switch on the GPS and the 3G services. Yeah, this is a stock new launcher. Uh, comes as a default with Wedge Cube now. I'll do a review of all these ROMs for you. This was the basic tutorial of flashing a new custom ROM from Froyo stock. This is it. Welcome to the world of custom ROMs. So stay tuned. I'll uh, put up more videos. Yeah, that'll be it. Thank you very much.